Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's talk about it, Media 21. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and please hit the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you will be the first one to see it. No, all comments are alleged in our opinion and for entertainment purposes only, where we discuss celebrity news, celebrity gossip, what's going on on IG and Google, and what's the hot topic for the day or the week. Fair use. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships, and research. Fair use is use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged in our opinion and for entertainment purposes only. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Don't forget to like, to comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell. So let's get into it, let's talk about it. The Real Housewives of Atlanta has a spinoff series in regards to the Ultimate Girls Trip. And what normally happens is they have casts that were on the Real Housewives of Potomac, Real Housewives of Atlanta, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, different series where it's castmates, let's, let's be real, castmates that were making millions per season and then they realized that there were other shows that were paying castmates not even close to that so bravo decided to release and let go of a lot of women a good 10 to 20 women were let go from their seasons and they tried to revamp those seasons and then they had the girls go on to the ultimate girls trip. So you release from your main show and then you go on the ultimate girls trip, which is probably like a five day taping series. I don't think it's just three days. I think it's probably like a five day, four day taping series. And then you have women that come from different shows. Come on. Some seasons are really good for the ultimate girls trip. They're vacationing they're spending time spending dinners they're talking about what they experience on the show so they had to come up with something because you have like a carlos king which would love to bring on old castmates allegedly and bring them on to maybe his show so of course bravo had to do something because carlos king interviews the women he talks about the show many people are saying you need to really focus on Love and Marriage Huntsville, you need to focus on Love and Marriage DC because it's the same repetitive stories. All it is about cheating, business stuff, maybe slight children's stuff, but many people are calling out Carlos King about his shows. So let's get into the Ultimate Girls Trip. I'm not certain if the show came out the weekend, but we have Candace that's actually talking to Portia Williams, Gobadia. And she's basically mentioning you actually told, took someone else's husband. So Portia's kind of looking at her. So let's go back. Mind you, Portia was on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Real Housewives of Atlanta. She was also on the Ricky Smiling Morning Show. And then she started dating Fallon's husband. Let's say it that way. Because they weren't divorced. She started dating Fallon's husband. Fallon decided to go ahead, go through a divorce. Then Fallon started dating her assistant, who now Fallon and the assistant, Jalen, are now broke up. So Portia could not wait for the divorce to be final. As soon as that was final, she made sure she posted about it. So now you have Portia dating Simon. And many people were fooling her, saying, girl, what are you doing? Why are you trying to allegedly take someone else's husband? And what is it in for, for you? So, mind you, Portia never returned to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She didn't return. And she quit the Ricky Smiley show. She's selling other stuff and doing other stuff. So, now we have Portia that is on the Ultimate Girls Trip. There's a few different ladies that's on the show. There's Heather, uh, Gay, Whitney, uh, uh, Alex, Alexa, uh, Marisol. You have Giselle Bryant. You have Candace Dillard. You have um, Leah, and you have, the alleged, they say in the alleged uh, Portia, Gabadia. 
So you have different women from different seasons, from different reality shows come together for the ultimate girls trip. Now, a lot of these women, when you think about it, the only ones that's still allegedly on a show that I know, because I don't really watch The Housewives, because I just feel that Bravo loves to make women and men not look a good way in branding. They they have been chasing a bag and allegedly embarrassing themselves. There's a lot of cheating. There's a lot of, did they cheat? What's your husband doing? You know, is your husband straight or that? You know, there's so much that go on in being on a reality show. So I think the only ones, because I don't even watch Housewives, the only ones I think that are still on shows is Giselle Bryant and uh, Candace. I don't even know if these other women are still on shows, <laughs> but what not, well wishes. Let's get into what's been going on. I'm going to go through a few different clips. I'll probably do some of what they're talking about. The women are in Thailand. And from the clips, it seems as if they are talking about things that happen in their seasons. They're talking about uh, different things that's transpired. What happened in regards to husbands? What happened in regards to cheating? What happened in regards to lawsuits? And then you have, it looks like their tour guide is almost fed up with it. And he's basically saying, you women are mean to each other, disrespecting each other. And then two days later, you're hugging each other and you're fighting again. Fake, fake, fake is what he called them. And they posted that on, on the, I would love to pay, play the background, but I don't want to get a strike. So let's get into what Candace had to say. And you can, you can see the title. And then Portia is allegedly trying to distract away from what Candace had to say. Sooner or later, women were going to address Portia in regards to what transpired. And that's the big, biggest thing. Do you know any girlfriends that dated a married man? The married man maybe said he's going through divorce. The woman didn't know. He separated from his girlfriend. What transpired? So let's get into the clip and let's get into what Portia's doing, trying to distract away from everybody bringing that back up again. Because of course that was an embarrassing moment and Dennis was furious. Why are you dating him? But then it seems like Dennis was cool with it because it's like, okay, she's out of my hair. Go ahead and take her because then there was a ledge picture in regards to whether Portia was pregnant or not. That's what got her the Portia Family Matters. She was also hoping that Bravo was going to pick her up and have uh, have them to film the weddings because she had like one or two weddings or whatever. So the biggest thing is people are talking about it. People are talking about Giselle. Is she really dating someone? Candace, her husband, yada, yada, yada. Let's get into the clip and we'll kind of go from there. Okay, so right here is when Candace is basically calling Portia out for stealing Simon from Fallon. Portia's kind of like, you know, not, you know, and it's like you guys were friends and then you took someone's husband. So there's that. Then we have Portia that's making videos in regards to putting filters on her face. What is really going on, y'all? What's It's the distraction of because you don't want to really go back to that embarrassing moment that people, women, were shading her. You saw that he was with that other girl. Why would you try and jade him? She's trying to make it seem like she's happy. She's satisfied. You know, her and Simon were posting several pictures when Fallon said she was going to leave Jalen and they're no longer together. So well wishes. I asked in my other video, would you date a married man? Have you ever dated a married man? What did, he, what did he tell you? Did he say he had left her, but they were still together, living together, and you just did not know? Because that's the one thing. You got to get to know someone and you have to ask the right questions. When's your last relationship? How long have you been single? What does your girlfriend think about you now? Do you guys get along? Do you have kids? You have to ask the general question. And almost like an interview. After you've gone through it, maybe a month or three weeks or whatever, you have to ask the general questions. Well, well wishes. Many people are saying Portia, you know, has girlfriends that are saying it's cool. But for a good year, people were giving Portia the side eye. So well wishes. Let's get into the other picture. 
because here she is again. And, and mind you, when they did the video, when she was looking like an old, 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 old woman, and he almost, his face almost did not change. <laughs> many, many people were saying the filter don't know what to do because you filter him to try and look like a younger man <laughs> and to try and make him look 20 years younger. But well wishes. This is what she wants, whatever, because I don't want to say it's cool because who wants to allegedly break up a family? You know what I'm 